This is a short instructional video on how to connect your 2600B series SMU with the Keithley IV app. The Keithley IV app is available for free on the App Store as well as the Google Play Store. The IV app allows you to characterize devices without the need of connecting your 2600B series to a computer. Let me show you the steps on how to connect these two devices together wirelessly. In order to communicate wirelessly between your 2600B series and your tablet, you will need a wireless router like such. Now with this router, what we'll want to do is plug in our Ethernet cable into the LAN port. We want to make sure that we plug it into the LAN port and not the TSP link ports. If you plug them into the TSP ports, this will not work. With our particular wireless router, we will have to wait for proper communication to establish and we can tell by such when it stays at a solid green light like so. Now that we have proper, or proper connection set up, we can then set up the network properties from the front panel of the 2600B series. To set the network settings on the 2600B series, what we'll want to do is go into the main menu by pressing the menu button and what we'll want to do is select the LAN setting. We will know that we're selected by seeing the flashing LAN, so we'll press enter. Now what we want to do is go into the config settings, so we'll select config and press enter. And what, for this case, we want to go to the method and select auto. What auto will do will allow the router to set the IP settings and subnet mask for our 2600B series. Now one thing that we want to make sure is right now we're in the LAN config, we want to go down one menu system and we want to select apply settings. So we'll press enter and we'll ask us if we want to apply settings and we'll say yes. Press enter again. Now the 2600B series is asking the router to set its IP address. Now for us to verify that our instrument has got its IP address properly. We want to go under status and then we select IP address. And here we see a unique IP address. Now if our 2600B series didn't have an IP address or it failed to get an IP address, it would show 0000000000000. So now that our 2600B series is properly set up to communicate wirelessly, we will now have to set up our tablet to communicate wirelessly as well. So now that we have our 2600B series properly connected to our wireless network, we will also want to then connect our mobile device to our wireless network. To do so, we will want to go into our settings, and under our settings, we want to select the Wi-Fi option. Now, our wireless network is going to be this one right here, and so once we properly connect to it, we'll wait for a check mark to appear. Give it a second, and there we go. So now we're properly connected to the wireless Wi-Fi that's also connected to our 2600B series. So then we want to open up our IV app. So we go back to our home display, click on IV, and that will open up the IV app. Now there will be two options here. The first one is connect via wireless LAN, and the second is simulate. We will want to select connect via wireless LAN. And here is where all of our IP addresses will show up for connected instruments. And here's the one that we have that we set up earlier, which is 192.168.0.100. So when we select that, it'll ask us if we want to connect. So we click connect, and it will open up the main display of the IV app. Now that we have our mobile device and our 2600B series connected, we are now ready to test our device. For our case, we are going to be using SMU A and B because we're testing a BJT. So then what we'll want to do is turn the output on and then we can sweep the voltages from the bottom here. So we already see, just by moving our finger, we already get data returned back to us in a visual format. And we can sweep through multiple voltages here so that we get a full family of curves. So once we get through here. All right, that looks good enough. So then what we'll want to do is turn the output off, like so. And what we can do now is share the data through a variety of common mobile apps, like so. We hope that this instructional video has encouraged you to download the free Keithley IV app.